many people still don't believe how amazing this is until they actually see it happening. Not only is the foundation being laid, but Tesla is already building up the physical structure. They are even setting up the production lines. Some recent rumors have made people think that Tesla's low-cost model has been called off. Looking at Tesla's current financial challenges, it might seem like dropping their affordable EV plan would be a smart move. But that's not what's really going on. Tesla is simply adjusting the process to save money, improve the supply line, and take advantage of any possible tax benefits. In this video, we're going behind the scenes of Tesla's affordable car project. The company has not walked away from the $25,000 electric vehicle plan. In fact, their latest moves may drop the cost down to around $17,000. And the official release is now just a few months away. Tesla's Model 2 is still meant to be the affordable game changer they first spoke about. They're just moving more carefully to make sure the launch goes smoothly. You might ask how reused factory lines can match the precision of a high-end EV while still cutting down costs. Let's take a closer look at how Tesla is managing this to make the Model 2 roll out more efficiently. So how did Elon Musk respond to the talk that the Model 2 might not succeed? You've likely come across news headlines saying that the Model 2 is a disappointment or that it won't make it. Elon Musk didn't ignore the chatter. Instead of rushing to set up two brand new factories, one in Mexico and another in India, just to start fresh with Model 2 production, Tesla decided to pause that plan. What they're doing now is a very clever move. They're making use of the same Fremont and Austin lines already used to make the Model 3 and Model Y, inside the company, they've given this cost-saving idea the name E41. Basically, it's like Tesla is asking, why build a new wheel when the current one is working just fine? According to multiple reports, E41 is Tesla's code name for the Model 2 that's used internally before it gets a name for public sale. Think of it like this, instead of getting a whole new kitchen just to make one loaf of bread, you simply adjust the recipe and use your current stove. Elon Musk's strategy is kind of like jumping into a machine that's already running smoothly, just hit the accelerator and increase production within months without having to spend billions on land or go through long approval processes. This approach means quicker growth and big savings. That's important right now, considering how unstable the global economy has been. But Tesla's biggest challenge right now might be how it handles the growing trade tension between the US and China. Any electric car made in China and shipped to the US could face up to a 100% tax. Batteries might get hit with a 25% tax and chips with a 50% tax. In return, China has made it harder to export rare earth materials. This back and forth is turning into a full-on trade war. As a result, every Chinese-made vehicle might face extra costs between $1,200 and $1,800 just because of taxes on rare earth elements. To stay ahead of this, Tesla has increased its use of parts and batteries made in North America, reaching the highest percentage of locally made content in the last two years. This smart shift means the Model 2 will avoid high import costs and qualify for lower fees. That helps keep the final price low. And don't forget the $7,500 tax credit from the Inflation Reduction Act. That credit is only available to EVs built in North America and using at least half of their battery materials from the US by 2025. By making the Model 2 in Fremont, Austin, and Giga Berlin, and with future plans to expand production in Shanghai, Tesla is making sure it qualifies. This decision helps keep the price tag under $25,000 while also boosting savings for customers. But does this delay mean Tesla is no longer serious about its affordable EV plans? Not really. At Tesla's recent shareholders meeting, Elon Musk confirmed that lower-cost models will still be built on the existing production lines used for the Model 3 and Y in factories all over the world. There's no need for brand new factories, and production is still expected to begin in early 2025. Experts in the auto industry say Tesla is still on track to release the Model 2 in the first half of 2025. This shows that it won't be some future robotaxi or futuristic concept car, but an actual vehicle ready for consumers. At this point, it looks like Tesla is playing it safer than usual. 
With interest rates going up and people buying fewer new cars, Tesla has decided to increase its yearly output by 50% using its existing plants rather than building new ones from scratch. So, the delay in the Model 2 launch, just a few months, not a cancellation, shows Tesla is taking a smart and careful path in response to rising energy, labor, and material costs. When it comes to making the Model 2 more affordable, Tesla is looking at every cost involved in owning a car. Driving away in a brand new vehicle is just one part. You also have to consider regular maintenance like oil changes, tires, insurance, and surprise repairs. Ignoring these costs can lead to financial trouble. Tesla is promising that you'll be able to drive off in a new Model 2 for the same price as a good used car. Some say the starting cost could be around $25,000, with a chance it could go even lower. Tesla might be able to fix the usual cost problems by making smart design changes. One big way they plan to cut costs is by using a switched reluctance motor instead of expensive magnet-based ones. Most EVs today use magnets that require rare materials like neodymium and dysprosium, which can add around $1,800 to each car and mostly come from China. With tariffs on these materials expected to go up from 25% to 100% next year, avoiding them could save customers a lot. The SRM motor gives quick torque at lower speeds, making it easier to park and drive in traffic without the usual jerks of older vehicles. You also get 10% to 15% better efficiency, giving you an extra 20 to 30 miles of driving per charge without needing a larger battery. Think about how solid your iPhone feels, no rattling or creaks. Tesla wants the Model 2 to feel just as sturdy. They're using massive Giga Press machines to cast the front and back parts of the car as single pieces. Normally, a car might need 400 separate pieces welded together, but this method cuts that way down. Fewer joints mean less rust, better safety, and a smoother ride. It also reduces assembly costs by 20% to 40%. If you've ever waited around for hours at a mechanic to fix a simple bumper issue, you'll love knowing the Model 2 is built to last. The body also uses a special aluminum mix that's lighter than steel but just as strong. This means the car handles better in small spaces while staying safe. The Model 2's inside is designed to be flexible. You might start with basic cloth seats, but if you want heated ones later, you can add them for about $1,200. Want a bigger screen? You could upgrade from the standard 8 to 10 inch screen to a 13 to 15 inch version for $500 to $800. You can also swap out cup holders or sound systems without needing a mechanic. There's even talk that Tesla may include a special senior mode. This could mean larger font sizes, simple menus, and cleaner dashboards. One standout idea is having front seats that can turn and raise themselves as you enter, a feature that normally costs over $1,500 in luxury cars. Tesla might offer it as part of an affordable package. Regenerative braking also comes standard. It lets you slow down just by lifting your foot from the pedal, cutting brake pad use by up to 90% and saving you money on repairs. It also helps reduce foot strain in heavy traffic. If you've gone on a long holiday drive and felt your legs hurting from constant braking, this car helps avoid that. And if something jumps out on the road, Tesla's emergency braking kicks in within milliseconds, helping keep you safe. Unlike regular cars, there's no oil, spark plugs, or filters to replace in the Model 2. You could go over 100,000 miles before needing new brake pads, compared to about 30,000 for gas-powered cars. Studies show electric vehicles already cost about 50% less to maintain, and the Model 2 could be even cheaper. If you live on a fixed income or social security, those savings make a big difference. The Tesla app will remind you to get maintenance only when it's really needed, so you're not stuck following confusing service checklists. With all the supply chain improvements, charging stations are now easier to find and more affordable to install. If you're charging your Model 2 at home during off-peak hours, a full charge might cost under $5, much cheaper than gas, which can cost $10 to $15 for the same distance. You'll notice the power as soon as you press the pedal. The latest Model 2 offers 240 horsepower, 
which is 20% more than its early version. It reaches 60 miles per hour in just 5.9 seconds, faster than the Chevrolet Bolt EV and Hyundai Kona Electric. Tesla also reduced the car's weight by about 220 pounds by using lightweight materials like aluminum and high-strength steel. That makes for sharper steering and a smoother ride. The battery has also improved. Engineers boosted energy density by 25%, letting a 55-kilowatt-hour battery deliver about 270 miles on a single charge. That's more than the Bolt or Kona, which have larger batteries but shorter ranges. Fast charging improved too, now reaching 80% in just 25 minutes, compared to 47 minutes or longer for most rivals. A new cooling system helps the battery last longer, keeping temperatures within a very tight range. Safety is also top tier. Stronger crumple zones and a redesigned frame earned it top crash test scores, even higher than some competing models. Thinner A pillars and a wider windshield reduce blind spots by 25% and better mirrors and simple controls make it easier to see around you. Tesla keeps improving with updates over the air. They've already improved acceleration and battery usage multiple times. The latest software lets you use 95% of the battery's full capacity and improves object detection by 20%, beating many competitors. As for the robo-taxi, Tesla is making steady progress. The Cybercab is their first design made just for self-driving use. Built using a new type of production line, it should be cheaper and quicker to make. Elon Musk said Tesla could produce up to 2 million of these cars each year, starting in 2026. Recent testing at Giga Texas showed the Cybercab moving around complex environments without a backup chase car, showing confidence in the system. Thanks for watching. If you want more updates about Tesla EVs or their robot, be sure to like this video and share it. Don't forget to subscribe to Drives Mind and turn on notifications so you don't miss our future videos. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.